from a very young age, from St. Xavier's Kolkata, when I finished my education and um, fighting with myself and around the localities of the varieties of the society was not easy. Knowing people from years and years and understanding myself was the biggest tough life that I've ever had. I think um, I would like, I would not like to say that we all have had a very, everybody has a tough life. Everybody has their own struggle who is sitting here. Everybody has uh, their own set of struggles to come to the point to understand yourself. People talk about changing the world. I say change yourself within the four walls of your home first. The world will change on its own. Coming from a background family where from a very strict government official, my father was a vigilance director. I had an elder brother who was um, a computer science graduate. It took, a, it took a while for them to understand me, but definitely I had to pave my path through of what I wanted. From that little schoolboy to representing India at Miss International Queen and coming in top 15 talent quest itself was a huge journey. Meeting the whole world, meeting 40 other odd countries. I think I would like to raise this that um, when I was there at Thailand this year, like a month back, and I met all my trans sisters, India is really lacking behind in terms of empowering not only biological women, even transgender women. I think um, the present scenario of our country is so weak, so weak for a woman itself. What rights I'm, I'm asking for? I never believed in asking for a right. I never believed we make the government. We make, we vote, and we elect, and then the government is made. And um, in the same country, so many things are happening. Rapes, and um, to, be, to, be, to start with, and um, if I'm asking for a right, that, you know, me being a transgender woman, I need rights. Where are the other women who are dying every day brutally as well? So we need to start from the grassroots level of women. I never believed in any community, first of all. What is community? Like putting men in one community, women in one community. I think human race is one community. At the end of the day, when you cut your hand, I think blood that matters because um, we should not go according to the person's orientation or the person. Gender comes in between your mind, not in between your legs. I'm way more worried about the person's heart and mind than what is in between the legs. And definitely, if we see in the immigration services, I think a person should be definitely checked with the crimes the person has done and what is what is what undergone surgery or everything that the person has gone through. Leaving that part, I remember meeting few trans sisters of mine in India who are not only, um, I was fortunate enough or I have camouflaged my troubles with time, but there are so many girls in the villages and I would like to raise voice for those girls who might be struggling till now to come out from the closet and live the life they wanted. It could be a trans man and it could be a trans woman like me as well. Because I think life is one, and that is how we have to begin, and that is how it starts. So um, I remember when I was growing in the four walls of my uh, school days, I was a very introvert person. I didn't mix too much, and I knew that the decorum of my body was wrong, and uh, me being gender dysphoria, so being in the wrong body and the mind that had to come together to be who I am today. So that is where. When I reached Thailand for Miss International Queen, the other countries are way more empowered than what we are today in India. Uh, I think with a very heavy heart, I would like to say that um, Manusha Chiller became Miss uh, Femina Miss India. She went to Miss World. She, I'm sure she, was, she had the backing of the government, I mean, not the government, uh, the Femina organization and uh, the backing of the people behind and back in our country for the votings and everything. I think a beauty queen is supposed to be someone who is not only just about the face or you know how she is, it's about um, how you can bring about a change for the other people around in the society. It's beauty with the purpose, that is what I have always believed in. So in that sense, I think India is really lacking behind and um, if not now, then when? 
the time is running girls are dying brutally to be said i hope everybody understands when i use that word so that is what i'm thinking that i'm going to share this thing that what rights am i talking about am i asking rights for my trans sisters when my other sisters are dying being raped every day so that is where india is really lacking behind i think um, as i had just mentioned that we think of changing the world we think of changing people i think um, that that is how i understood stand in front of the mirror change yourself first change your thinking change who you are as a person when you walk out of the door to understand that yes this is what i want to do being in top 15 for the talent quest till the second day of my journey i think i really paved it really nice and um, it's a very heavy feeling right now that i'm sharing that um, all the money put in all the hard work that i've put in for 6 months after winning the india's first uh, transgender beauty pageant and i was the only legitimate a legitimate girl to go from the country the other countries who came they were selected on the basis of their uh, modeling profiles or however they were doing some work but usually a beauty pageant holds in a way that you have to win the state pageant and the country's pageant and then you're legitimate to represent your country the young millennial crowd has to come up with a very strong voice and it's not just for a women you know who of the society as i said we are all as one nobody is single here i see human as one community so that is where i say let's start here and now jai hind thank you